big secret that Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin was a little obsessed with black magic and the occult. In the early 70s came the best evidence of Jimmy's yen for the dark side when he made a real estate deal with the devil. He bought renowned Satanist Aleister Crowley's former home in Scotland. Alistair Crowley was supposed to be the wickedest man on the planet and supposedly the house at one time was a church that uh, for unknown reasons burnt down and the uh, congregation was unable to get out. Nobody knows why. Apparently everybody died. And uh, Jimmy bought the house and he had a fascination about it. No better way to unwind after a long tour than to kick back at the sight of a horrible tragedy. Rumor was Jimmy used the house to practice black magic rituals of his own. Jimmy Page performed regular rituals in his home using bat's blood. But as it turns out, it's, that's just an excellent cleanser. I had heard all the stories about, you know, the, the bat's blood and all that kind of stuff. I think Jimmy Page's hobby was the occult. You know, and, and every person has a right to have a hobby. That's also the fantastic thing about rock and roll, which is why the best stories like those ones, you're never going to hear from, from Jimmy Page. Coming up, Metal's most famous sex tape is released. I love you. And a new one-eyed star is born. Tommy's Tripod, next on VH1's 100 Most Metal Moments. The guys of metal aren't the only ones enjoying non-stop sexual gratification. That's why I'm in this business. <laughs> the ladies are too. And L7 proved just how horny the fair sex can be when they raffled off a one-night stand with their drummer. Chock full of entertainment for your dollar. In April 2000, L7 announced to a sold-out crowd at the London Garage that one of the patrons would win a night of heavy metal humping with drummer D. Placus. Don't miss it. Down in North Hollywood. There's a guy with long hair. This was a bizarre raffle. We're talking about L7. Great rock band, not really known for their you know, beauty. So I, I, I don't know who, who signed up for this raffle. Were men actually signing up for this raffle? You know, the sad thing is that the raffle only raised $6.72 and a button. No comments from the peanut gallery. Dee said she didn't care if a man or a woman won. And neither did her husband. Let's go! I always wondered why couldn't we have been Dixon? See, that's the one I would have signed up for. I'd like to know who won the raffle and hear from them, you know, what, what actually went down. Actually, maybe I don't really want to hear that. A fan known only as Jim is said to have won the night of carnal delights, but L7 refuses to discuss details. No comments.
completely unfazed. He's like, baby, you think I could honk the horn with my wiener? And she goes, you probably can, baby. You know he was just running around the house all the time going, baby, think I could open the refrigerator with my dong? I don't know, baby, you probably can.